What's going on? Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. And in today's video, I'm going to answer a question we just got is why is my ad at the bottom of Google's first page and nowhere near the top? And there's a really simple answer to that, and we're going to solve that problem. All right, so let's hop into AdWords. And today I'm going to show you how to get your ad up to the top instead of just having it sit down at the bottom of page one or on page two, three, or four, which might as well just be page 197 because no limiter follows you. So first, we're going to be in our AdWords. Now, this just to get a, a bird's eye view of what I'm talking about here, I'm just going to go into our uh, roofer campaign, obviously. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're going into XYZ Roofers, which is our example campaign we built. So obviously, we're doing Philadelphia Roofers because that's where the campaign is located. Now, you should see here, here's all your ads, and you got your maps and stuff. So most people's problem they have when they launch their campaign is their ads are either showing up down here in one of these spots, which is, you're, no one's going to find you. You're going to get a lot of impressions and really shitty clicks, so that's going to be an issue as well. Or they're going to be on page 2 up here, which might as well, like I said, be page 197, because no one's ever going to go to page 2 when they're on their phone or they want to call or they have an urgent issue that needs to be solved. At least a, a very high percentage of people are not going to. So that's today's video. That's, that's it. That's all we're doing. How to get from down here and back to up here. All right. And there's a few different ways you can do that. So once you're in your campaign, we can go, let's go to the ad group level. And you should have average position in your um, columns up here. And remember how to add the columns. Go up here, modify columns. You can just add whichever ones you want. As you can see here in the example campaign, this is a terrible average position, but we never even ran this campaign. We just built it as an example to show you guys how to make an AdWords campaign so it's not built. So so position average position 4.6 is actually it's probably at the at the very top first spot of the of the uh, search page or at the, at the bottom, okay? So it's kind of fluxing between those two. So 4.6 is not really where it's not ideal. You want to be between 1.5 and 2.5. 2.5 is probably the most ideal position from the data we have. So, I mean, that's where you want to live, but if you have a terrible position, it's, it really just comes down to a simple bid increasing, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. In this campaign, we're actually using an auto bid strategy called Maximize Clicks. Let me go into settings. Bidding. Yeah, using Maximize Clicks. So let's say we were using this bid strategy, and we're bidding, we're telling them, so maximize clicks, essentially what it is, you're letting Google auto bid for you. And then we put a cap on it here because we don't we want them not bidding more than 3362. Um, just because they'll go crazy and bid $150 on a competitive keyword and it'll kill your campaign. So you just you always want to have if you're using an auto bid strategy, you always want to have a cap on it. Side issue. All right. So if we wanted to get a better position, let's say Google's like, hey man, you're you're hitting your max here. We're, we're hitting this max and your positions are they're shitty still. So what we would do is just come in here and we would just jack it up. So we'd say, all right, that's fine. We want a better position. We want to be on top of the page. Let's bid higher. So we're going to bid higher. They're going to give us better position. Now, if we're not using an auto bid strategy, let's say like most people use manual CPC. Then you can just, let me switch this. So we'll switch to manual CPC. Now we'll go back under our ad groups. And you'll see here, now we have full control over what the bids are. So if, if we come in here and and it says, uh, all right, we're bidding $14 and our position is 4.6, that's just unacceptable. Let's jack this up. And we come in here, let's do 18. I mean, I would always just go up a couple dollars first, do it incrementally. Don't just go, oh, we're bidding 14, let's bid 35. I mean, that's just insane. Don't do that. There's better ways to do it. So just just do a couple bucks here, wait a, wait a day or two, see where you end up. And every, every couple days, just bid a couple more dollars. Until you get where you want to be, and that's that's really it. That's how you move up on Google's page. They they don't Google doesn't care about anything besides relevancy and how much money you pay them. If you can if you can uh, hit both of those targets, you're going to be very successful in AdWords. So that's all we do. We just bid a little higher and uh, bump our ad positions up, and that's also going to increase our search impression share, which is very important. That's just how many times out of a hundred your ad shows with um when someone searches your keywords so as you can see here because these were fitted so low we built this campaign these are terrible search impression shares below 10 percent 
below 10%, 41%. You have you want a search impression share of around 85 to, to 100, all right, to be competitive. So that's what, and to increase your search impression share, it's just a simple matter of being higher as well. So the two go hand in hand. If you guys have any questions, drop down below this video. Love to answer them. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Check out the links in the description. We have one to our Facebook group, and we have a free ebook we put in there for you to optimize your AdWords campaigns. It's pretty powerful stuff, and we use it on most client audit accounts to turn around campaigns. So I think you'll I think we get some use out of it. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.